Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about sparkline charts. First of all, what is a sparkline chart? A sparkline chart is a tiny chart in a worksheet cell that provides a visual representation of data. In this sentence, it says a sparkline chart is a tiny chart which can be placed in a single cell. That means if I wanted to create a sparkline chart, I can create in this particular cell. I do not need a big space to create a sparkline chart. I can create a sparkline chart in a single cell. Also, why do we need to use sparkline charts? Sparkline charts are used to show trends in a series of values such as seasonal increases or decreases, economic cycles or to highlight maximum and minimum values. Therefore, we can use sparkline charts to show trends. Is it an upward trend or a downward trend? Let's see an example. In this particular example, I have listed all the products which we sell and the profits for the year 2018, 2019 and 2020. Say suppose I wanted to analyze the trend of profits using a line sparkline chart. What can I do is I need to select a cell in which my chart needs to be placed. Notice sparkline charts can be inserted in a single cell. Therefore, I will select this particular cell and then go into the insert tab. Now you can see there is a specific group related to sparkline charts. Here we have line sparkline, column sparkline and win loss sparkline. Now do not get confused with line sparkline with line chart. This is a line chart but this is not a line chart. This is line sparkline and again here this is column sparkline but here we have a column chart. So column charts and line charts are different from line sparkline and column sparkline. Now to insert a line sparkline I have already selected a cell and then I will simply click on line spark line. Now here we get this window. The first option is it is asking the data range meaning which data do you want to identify the trend. Here we want to identify the trend of 2018 profit, 19 profit and 2020 year profit. So simply I will select all these three cells and then the second option is it is asking where our spark line chart needs to be placed. It is asking the location. Since we already selected this particular cell automatically it has captured E19 cell. So I can simply click on OK. Now here you can see our chart has been placed in a single cell and here it is showing a downward trend. Again if we analyze the data first year the profit was 79,000. Second year 64,000 meaning it has reduced and third year it has even reduced till 53,000 meaning the profits are declining. Therefore the trend is downward trend. So in our sparkline chart it is showing a downward trend. Now to get the sparkline chart for the other cells I can simply click and drag down. Now here in the second line for iPad for the first year the profit was 53,000. Second year 71,000 meaning the profit has increased and third year it is 84,000. It has even increased. So you can see here it is showing an upward trend. In the third example the first year it was 84,000. Second year 83,000 and third year it is 42,000. If you notice the chart for the first two years it is in horizontal manner that is there's a slightly different change from 84 to 83 but in the third year when it became 42,000 it is showing a downward trend. Therefore we can use the sparkline charts to understand the trend of our data. Now to insert a column sparkline I will select this particular cell then I will go into the insert tab and then I will click on column. Again here it is asking for the data range. I will select all these cells and then I will click on OK. Now here you can see there are columns instead of line you can see column. Again in the first year the profit was higher so you have a taller column but in the second year the profit reduced then the size of the column became shorter. In the third year the profits decreased even further therefore the third bar you can hardly see that particular column. If I just click and drag to the below cells you can see the trend using the column sparkline for all the other products. So likewise you can use column sparklines also to understand the trends. Now here we have something called win loss. Again if I select this particular cell go to the insert tab and then if I click on win loss again for the data range if I select all these cells and then click on OK here it is showing a win loss sparkline. If I simply click and drag down we can see a win loss sparkline for all the below products. But in this situation win loss sparkline is not 
a good chart to insert because if you notice here i have mentioned the win loss sparkline shows streaks of wins or losses in a win loss sparkline any positive value is plotted as an upward facing marker right now all the values in this particular range are positive values whenever there is a positive values it will face upward the bar will face upward but if there is a negative value it is plotted facing downward just for an example if i change this to say minus 2 here you can see in the win loss sparkline it is in red and it is facing downwards maybe say here if i just change this to 0 now you can't see any bars here for a positive figure it will be facing upwards for the negative figure it will be facing downwards and if it is 0 there won't be any marker so you can use this win loss to show share prices or wins or losses but not for this kind of example for this kind of example line sparkline and column sparkline works best so that's all for this sparkline chart and i hope you found this useful thanks for watching and see you soon in the very next lecture